Well, good morning, family. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed day. I'm in my car this morning in my van, what I call my school bus, <laughs> and I'm having a wonderful, blessed day. I didn't have any little ones to take and drop off this morning. I, I had one big one. I had a fly by the high school, open the door, and let her jump out. <laughs> I may have slowed down a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed day. Today, Grammy is going to do some confessions. I want you to guys to know and understand that I go through the same things that you do. That I waller in the mud, that I have to get on my hands and knees every day and ask the good Lord in heaven to forgive me of something I have done wrong throughout the day. Now, I do try to walk in goodness and grace and love and kindness, but there's just sometimes that old world just will not let you do it. <laughs> it won't let you do it. You try. You wake up and you say, today is a wonderful day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. And before you can put your foot on the floor, the old devil done reared his head up. <laughs> so I'm just going to tell you. The devil reared his head, hair, up, hair up yesterday, his head up. I'll get it right in a minute. He he, he did. And uh, I allowed him to use me. And I'm going to confess and tell you what happened. I won't tell the, the people and I won't really go into the full situation, but I'll go around it so you understand what happens. Happened. We got a phone call after 8 o'clock at night. It was actually a text message asking us if we wouldn't mind getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning and doing something for this person because they were out having fun. And they told a fib, and I caught the fib. <laughs> and instead of praying for them, I called them on it. Instead of humbling myself before for God and before my fellow man, I called him on it. I was tired. I'd been in the kitchen cooking. I, I, I'd been out to the store and looking at turkeys. I was trying to work on that because we're going to be talking turkey tomorrow. And I was exhausted. And it happened before I could catch myself. We are in the fleshly body. We are not going to walk perfect every day. There are so many people that have problems trying to overcome things and they finally give up because they think that they can't be good enough for God. But as soon as I got through throwing my fit, the Holy Spirit began to speak to me and talk to me. And um, I didn't get to go to bed early anyway. I usually go to bed between 9, 9.30, 8.30 sometimes if I'm really sleepy. Right now with the time change, I want to go to bed at 8.30. <laughs> but he began to deal with me and my husband got up to go to bed and he gave me a kiss on the cheek and I said I can't go to bed right now I'm too wired up but I really knew that me and God needed to have a talk before I went to bed this is what makes me different than what I was before God saved me before he called me because I would have went to bed and I wouldn't have cared what that person thought I wouldn't have cared how that person hurt or how I hurt them. I would have just said they were wrong. They were wrong. They were absolutely wrong. And they were wrong. I'm just going to tell you. They were wrong. But I was wrong too. Because God has called me to be a peacemaker. God has called me to love my fellow man. God has called me out of the dirt, out of the, mar the mucky mud where the pigs waller. He's cleaned me up. He set me on a new foundation. And if I keep sliding off and put my foot down in there, then I'm not doing too good. Now, I'm not going to say we're not going to have slips. Like I said, we're going to fall every day. And he's going to have to pick us up and clean us off sometime. Just like that little kid you got ready for church. And when you went to get ready for church and you came back, they done got a hold of a chocolate bar and you got to redress them all over again. It happens. Or they got a dirty diaper. I mean, I, it just happens. And you know that we are the children of God and we such are like little children. And so he has to pick us up and re-clean us for church again. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. So I am reminded of this scripture. This is a scripture that I use so much whenever I am doing something in my house that frustrates me. 
I don't mind cleaning my house. I'll put on my good old Caleb music or my good old Southern gospel music. I love the Gathers and I'll put them on and I'll just dust my house and clean it. But when I have to spend an hour and a half picking up the stuff that's been left in the house and taking it and putting it back away, sometimes I lose my patience just a little bit, just a little bit. And so I'll have to say, do all things without complaining. Do all things without complaining. Do all things without complaining. I will say that over and over. When I'm at work sometimes and I'm having to fix a mess that somebody has done to the library, which was, we're here to fix messes. It's part of my job. But I will get frustrated, especially since I've gotten to a certain age. And some of you ladies that watch me know, uh, it seems like you get more honest with age. And so you have to be careful. So I'll say, do all things without complaining. Do all things without complaining. But there is so much more to this scripture, and I want to read it to you guys. Philippians 2, 14 through 16. Do all things without complaining and disputing, that you may become blameless and harmless, children of God without fault, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as light in the world. Holding fast the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I may not run in vain or labor in vain. Hold on to the goodness of God. Do all things without complaining and disputing. Let your light shine. I did not let my light shine. I put a water, I poured water on my light last night. <laughs> I poured water on my light. I should have done it. I should have maybe spoke my mind about how I felt because we don't have to be doormats. But I should have said, it's okay, let's go ahead and do it. Got up at three o'clock this morning, done what I was supposed to do, and I would have felt a lot better about myself on the inside. I didn't get any sleep anyway. <laughs> I didn't get that sleep I was wanting anyway. Uh, <laughs> so you have to think about those things. You know, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to share you that I had a moment of weakness this week where I mean, I just really got out there. I didn't stick a toe in the mud. I dove in. I put a bathing suit on and dove in that mud with them pigs. So let's just try to do better. Let's try to do better. Let's let God lead and we'll just kind of hold his hand and let him take us where we need to go because when we take the reins, we get ourselves in trouble. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Encouragement Wednesday. I love you guys. I pray you be blessed today. If you need prayer, you can hit me at grammynane72 at gmail.com or write me a card. Send me a card. Send me a letter. And if you got anything out of this encouragement, like, share, and subscribe it so that other people might can get something out of it. Today was more about me. I try not to make it about me, but I'll just be honest with you. When I'm telling you stuff, and something comes up, it's usually something that I've walked through that week. <laughs> and I really walked through this. So, I mean, I lost my temper. And it's been a long time. I, Grandpa Harold was a little shocked. <laughs> he was a little shocked. He was, you know. But, like I said, God didn't let me walk too far before he said, Hey, that's enough. Let's sit down and let's talk about it. Let's figure it out. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. I will be putting a video out. It'll probably be tomorrow sometimes, but we're going to talk some turkey. We're going to talk turkey. Yes, we is. And we're going to talk Thanksgiving. Alrighty, I love you. God bless you. Until next time, I'm Grammy Nene. Mm -hmm.